It is a bold program to try to save lives. As opioid deaths continue to climb in the region, one drug outreach program is seeking addicts before they overdose. KDKA investigator Andy Sheehan went along on the so-called care navigator rides and hit the streets in Washington County. Janae Dorcantis is on the front lines of the opioid crisis, driving the streets and back roads of heroin-ravaged Washington County. It's every day that I hear somebody has passed away from um, opiate use. So we're pretty much, we're right in the thick of it. The epidemic has made Janae a different kind of drug counselor. She's called a care navigator, one who seeks out the addict instead of waiting for them to come to her making house calls like this, encouraging the actively addicted to get treatment and supporting those already trying to get clean. How you been doing, Tyler? I've been doing pretty good. Uh, good. The methadone clinics have uh, been pretty good to me. Good. Addicts like Tyler, who has struggled in his fight with heroin, now on methadone and trying to become drug free. A lot of close friends of mine have been, uh, you know, dead uh, because of this uh, epidemic that's been going on. So. You don't, you don't want to be a statistic? No, I do not want to be a statistic at all. The Navigators are part of the state's Center for Excellence initiative to combat the opioid crisis. This program was developed and run locally by Southwestern Pennsylvania Human Services, whose care center director, Kelly McKevitt, just couldn't stand by with so many dying of overdoses. We wanted to use a design that wasn't sitting back, waiting for people to come to treatment, hoping that they would be ready. We wanted to say to them, we care about, enough about you. We're going to come out. We're going to keep coming out. And navigators like Janae have embraced that. My biggest thing with my clients is like I want to meet them where they are, not only physically and in their environment, but mentally and emotionally too, so that they know that like I'm here for them and they can trust me. A recovering addict herself, eight years clean, Janae immediately establishes that trust as one who's been there. I tell my clients right off the bat, like, I've been there. Like, I've been at the bottom with you. Like, I know exactly where you're at. Like, I can help you when you're ready. One of her most successful clients is Mindy Bates, who works here at this gas station and who's been drug-free for 18 months. I'm remembering you from the first time we met you to now, it's a complete, <laughs> complete change. Right. Complete so, different. Yeah, we're definitely proud. Something she attributes to Janae's support and the frequent visitors of her and other navigators. Anything that you need, you can call them. And it's just as though you're speaking to somebody that is a friend, somebody that is non judgmental. They help because a lot of them also have been in the same situations. And while all of her calls are not so successful, Janae hopes to make an impression on those who reject her offer of treatment. We're just here for them, and we're here when they're ready, basically. Meeting the addicts where they live and giving them a pathway to recovery. It's a unique program of outreach that's finding success one life at a time. In Washington, PA, Andy Sheehan, KDKA TV News.